here we have party of question 2 from the January 2025 CSET mathematics paper it says to, to factorize <coughs> each of the following expressions I copied it from this All right now what we have here for this part is x squared minus 49 now this is the difference of two squares and there is a shortcut that you can take in factorizing this notice the squares you have x squared and you have 7 squared which is 49 those are the two squares and you have the difference between them Remember when you subtract two numbers you're finding the difference so it's the difference of two squares. <coughs> the shortcut way to look at it is to have two brackets. In each bracket on the left you have what you need to square to have the item that is on the left. And then on the right of each bracket you square what it is that you need to have the item on the right hand side. What is it that is square is 7. And you have a plus and a minus. Alright? So that's what you have there. Notice if you multiply the brackets out. A times x times x is x squared. A times negative 7 minus 7x. Seven, 7 times x is plus 7x. Seven, 7 times negative 7 is negative 49 negative 7x plus 7x all of this is gone so it's x squared minus 49 all right so you see that <coughs> i've got the flu so my voice isn't that clear right now and i have to be coughing sometimes all right now here you see that this is really a quadratic expression and you can use the usual AC method to factorize it right other than the shortcut let's try that this is remember the general form of a quadratic equation is a x squared plus b x plus c the AC method you multiply a times c and you get AC and you find two numbers those two numbers they must multiply to give AC and they add to give B and then <coughs> you're going to divide up into AX squared plus let's say number one X plus number two X plus C and then you factorize in groups alright so let's look at that in this case what we have is x squared minus 49 so we have 1 x squared plus 0 x plus 49 so that's what we have alright AC is 1 times 49 which is 49 b is equal to 0 now which two numbers multiply to give 49 and add to give 0 negative 7 and negative 7 and I mean negative 7 and positive 7 if you multiply them oh it says my mistake it said minus 49 not plus 49 alright let's just redo it so it's minus 49 so you see that it's 1x plus no x I mean it's 1x squared plus no x in the middle that's 0x minus 7 squared which is 49 <coughs> now AC is 1 times negative 49 which is negative 49 which two numbers multiply to give negative 49 and add to give 0? Well, 
if you try negative 7 and positive 7. Negative 7 by positive 7 is negative 49. Negative 7 plus positive 7 is 0. Right? Negative 7 by 7 equals negative 49. Negative 7 plus 7 equals 0. So those are the two numbers. So you have 1x squared minus 7x plus 7x minus 49. <coughs> So now, factorizing groups, x, x minus 7, plus 7, factorize this, you have x minus 7. Now, x minus 7 is a common factor, so you put it out, x minus 7, inside the bracket you have x plus 7. So you have x minus 7, x plus 7. Just as with the shortcut, x plus 7, x minus 7, right? So whichever way you do it, you get your answer here, x plus 7, x minus 7. Alright, and by the way, remember, with this, as with any other question that you see here, you must pause the video and write them down, and then make an attempt at it before you watch me doing the solution. Now, part B x squared plus 2x minus 35 you must factorize it x squared plus 2x minus 35 so you have x squared plus 2x minus 35 well this is not a difference of 2 squares so you have to use the AC method All right? you have no choice in this case let's just erase what we have here and bring our new problem up all right so here now you're going to say using the AC method A is equal to B is equal to C is equal to. You must be able to properly identify your A, your B, and your C. In this case, A is 1 because it's 1x squared. B is 2. C is negative 35. Alright? Because remember the equation says plus C. So it's plus negative 35. You don't say minus C, it's plus C. So C is not 35. C is negative 35 and a is not x squared either and our x a is 1 a is a number that multiplies x squared is really 1 that multiplies x squared but when it's 1 you don't bother to write it there all right so a c is 1 by negative 35 which is negative 35 and you think which two numbers multiply to give negative 35 and they add to give 2. Alright, I'm thinking of 7 and 5. Now they should give negative 35. If you put if you make the, ne the 5 negative, you're going to say it's 5 by ne 7 by negative 5. Yes, that's negative 35. But 7 plus negative 5. Oh yeah, 7 plus negative 5 is a positive 2 right so it is correct if it was 7 that you made negative negative 7 by 5 is indeed negative 35 but negative 7 plus 5 would be negative 2 you'd have to make the 5 negative so those are the two numbers <coughs> so you're going to split the middle part the 2 x into these two parts so you have x squared plus 7x minus 5x minus 35 it would make a difference if you had put negative 5x first and then plus 7x after alright you get the same answers notice this and this are the same equations you know now guess what at the ends you have negative you have x squared at, and you have negative 35 in the middle here this negative this 2x is the same as 7x minus 5x right 
So they are the same equations. Factorizing group now. X outside the bracket. X plus <coughs> 7 inside the bracket. Minus 5 outside the bracket. And then 5 times this gives you 5x. So this must be x. Then 5 times negative 5, I mean. Negative 5 times this will give you um, negative 35. So that must be plus 7. And you must get the same things in bracket here. If you don't, then you have made a mistake. You need to go back and correct it, right? <coughs> Factor out x plus 7. x plus 7. This, you know, is a common factor. So it's x plus 7. And then x plus 7 times this will give you x times x plus 7, which is it must be x. Alright? x plus 7 times what you put here will give you negative 5 by x plus 7. So what you have here must be negative 5. So when fully factorized, x squared plus 2x minus 35 is equal to x plus 7x minus 5. If you multiply it out, you see that you get x times x, which is x squared, plus x times negative 5, which is negative 5x plus 7 times x which is 7x minus 7535 so it's x squared plus 2x minus 35 <coughs> just as the problem that you started out with right if you expand the bracket you get back the same thing so when you factorize x squared plus 2x minus 35 you get x plus 7x minus 5 all right, see what else they say. Okay, hence simplify the expression. X squared mi minus four, X squared minus 49 over X squared plus two X minus 35. Let me just copy this and paste it over here. Have to see where it went, it went here. So we must hence Simplify this expression. Now, x squared minus 49 is x plus 7x minus 7. So, we could just do this. We have this up top. <coughs> Divided by, then it's x plus 7x minus 5. We have x plus 7, x minus 5. Now notice the x plus 7 will cancel the x plus 7. You see that? Because when you think about it, this is really equal to x plus 7 over x plus 7 times x minus 7 over x minus 5, right? So this over it, oh my, why is right 5 here is 7? <coughs> this is 7. Same thing as this. Alright. <coughs> x plus 7 over x plus 7. That's 1. So this amounts to 1 minus x minus 7 over the x minus 5. So what you get is x minus 7 <coughs> over x minus 5. <coughs> Alright, so... This is part 2a. Let me see what else is here. <coughs> okay, 2b. Alright. It says to rearrange the formula below to make m the subject. We have s equal k minus m squared. s equal k minus m squared. Let's work it out down here. s equal... Mm -hmm k minus m squared all right now what you can do is just since you're going to have m as a subject one thing you can do here <coughs> is just switch it around to make k minus m squared equal s because you're going to have the thing that you say equal to will be on the left 
All right, what you can do now, remember you want to get rid of everything that is mixed up with M and so that you have M alone. So negative, so subtract K. When you subtract K from both sides, you have K minus M squared equal S. You minus K from the left and minus K from the right. So K minus K, that's zero. So you're left with negative M squared equal S minus K. Now, negative M squared is the same thing as saying you have negative one M times M squared. All right? What you do? You multiply by negative one. So negative one times negative one times m squared is equal to negative one times s minus k, right? You have that. Negative one by negative one is positive one. So this becomes m squared equal. Negative 1 by s is negative s. Negative 1 by negative k is positive k. So this is the same as k minus s. <coughs> it looks a little neater to put the positive value in front. Alright, so you have m squared equal k minus s. What's the next thing you think is going to be done? Because remember... You want m to be the subject. You don't want m squared to be the subject. So what you do is square root. Anytime you have a number square and square root that, you get back the number. So the square root of m squared is equal to the square root of k minus s, right? Square root of m squared is m. So that is equal to the square root of k minus s. All right, and then we have part C. We'll do part C in another video.